Days of infighting among the Democratic caucus sparked by comments made by freshman Congresswoman Ilan Omar. Also exposed some major divisions among Democrats. Yeah, this was a real family feud, Cecilia. Anti-Semitism is bad, yet Democrats can't seem to agree on how to say it's bad. Because that is a real distraction for Democrats right now from all of this uh, other things. You know, they really need to be united right now. Democrats in disarray if you will, at least in Congress right now. But I definitely think they need to do a better job of protecting their freshmen. I think that this has sort of swamped the agenda that the House Democrats wanted to uh, focus on. I read the resolution and it reminds me of the old line that a camel is a horse designed by a committee. This is a Wall Street Journal headline uh, that we're putting up for you now. Medicare for all loses momentum among Democrats. Some cold water uh, being thrown on that idea. House Democrats' new campaign chief warning that its estimated $33 trillion price tag was, quote, a little scary. But I hope that voters might want to look at, A, who was there first. Democrats suffered an embarrassing defeat uh, on the House floor when Republicans won a vote to report illegal immigrants who try to buy guns to deportation officers. This outraged Ocasio-Cortez, who reportedly mentioned that she was going to primary these 26 Democrats. She has denied this ever occurred. Now Democrats are reportedly thinking of ways to limit use of the tool Republicans used here called a motion to recommit. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi issuing a stark warning for Democrats in her party who dare to vote with Republicans on anything. According to Politico, Pelosi telling Democratic lawmakers this is not a day at the beach. Vote no. Just vote no because the, the fact is a vote yes is to give leverage to the other side.